Welcome to the Contemporary Music Centre's Christmas party and it's better, better late than never and uh, we're delighted to join you this evening live from the Contemporary Music Centre on 19 Fishamble Street in central Dublin. I'm joined by all my colleagues who are here in the building with me this evening and I know you're all there watching uh, from home, at home and abroad so a big warm welcome. In the course of the evening lots to look forward to live music this year, the launch of our CMC Colleagues 2022 and the launch of Ansel McDonald's debut album Light of Shore. So a very busy packed evening for the Christmas party. I do wish you could be here live joining us but hopefully we'll be back to that next year because it has been one of those years again as we reflect on 2021. We think back to the start of the year the lockdown, the cancellations, the postponements, the frustrations right throughout the year. But we also remember and celebrate all those numerous inspirational moments of music online, outdoor performances and the joy when we got to return to live music events inside as well in recent months. Great resilience from all composers and performance performers over the course of 2022 and such resourcefulness of all artists and arts organisations for the creation and performance of new music innovative content to right across the year from such a creative sector. And we've been really humbled uh, across the year on, in how the sector has connected with us and how you've supported each other through this enormous through, through the enormous challenges in this year. And grateful to be part of that community through the fortnightly coffee catch up. And I know a number of people on the Zoom are uh, old uh, locals to the coffee catch up each fortnight. We've aimed to be responsive to the needs of the sector across the year and active and supportive with you in the creation and performance of new music and so it's a big sincere thanks to everyone all the artists mentors experts and organizations with whom we've collaborated and partnered with across the year and we continue to support artists active in new music and to engage audiences with this music that we're all passionate about as I say we're grateful to many people who helped us deliver and adapt different activities of CMC across the year and everyone in the new music community. Um, many musical highlights, the courtyard sessions, the St. Bridget's Day event, musical tales online, culture night with Kirkos and the CMC colleagues, Kirkos as the ensemble in residence, NMDX, our international networking program. And as the year draws to a close, I want to uh, pay a special mention to our outgoing composers on the emerging composer program. That's Anya Mallon and Alton O'Brien. Very unusual years to be the on the CMC Emerging Composer Programme, but we've modified it and enhanced it. And you two have been a great joy to work with and produced such wonderful work over the course of the last two years. I know some of your projects will roll into 2022 on the CMC Emerging Composer Programme and I'm really looking forward to hearing the results of those projects. And a special welcome to our two new Emerging Composers for 2022 and onwards, that's Eva Kavanagh and Paul Scully. Our great honour too to represent Dara Kelly and the late Sue Furlong as Associate Composers from the last round of the representation call. It's been great to have a lot of composer experts who have done mentoring right throughout the year of um, emerging composers in partnership with our ensemble and residents, Kirkos. It's also been a challenge to postpone the uh, Composer Lab and Choral Sketches right throughout 2021, but great hope near the end of the year with the Choral Sketches Workshop in November. Very special moment for the composers involved in that project and the singers of Chamber Choir Ireland. And we look forward to recommencing Composer Lab in 2022 with our partner, the National Symphony Orchestra of Ireland. To all the artists and organisations who contributed to our podcast, Amplified, during the year, your honest, engaging thoughts on music made for wonderful listening. And uh, to everyone who supported us in continuing our provision of library and archive services remotely and all the contributions from composers to uh, updating their catalogue and uh, you know who you are. Last but not least, it's been really wonderful to have feedback from audiences to all our content, our many initiatives, our many features our many activities. 
I'm now going to hand you over to the chair of the Contemporary Music Centre Board, Paula McHugh, who is live from up the road in Belfast. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Paula McHugh and I'm here this evening. Absolutely delighted to join you for the CMC um, virtual Christmas party as the chair of CMC. Um, I haven't actually been at an in-person board mem meeting as yet. So all our meetings um, since I joined the board have been uh, uh, virtual in the virtual world. Um, but even from those meetings, I have really enjoyed meeting and working with the board members and learned that they are so um, hugely committed to CMC as an organisation, to the staff team and to the composers that we represent. So it's been really, really enjoyable for, for me to, to be part of that. Um, CMC is very close to my heart, having um, used it as a resource myself over the years when um, commissioning new music or programming new music to so to be involved in the in the board and to have the opportunity to chair is um is a great honor um it has been a hugely difficult year two years for um everyone in the creative industries for everybody in fact um and composers um i'm sure you you have had many many challenges challenges over the last the last while um, I was lucky to attend um, Anselm's um, launch in Belfast um, but I'm really really looking forward to uh, hearing the cello suite tonight and Martin Martin performing that and um, so I just hope that everybody can step away from the COVID and the, and the Christmas craziness for a bit and enjoy the music so thanks so much to um, my colleagues on the board, to the staff team, the very hard working staff team and CMC, um, to all the composers um, that we represent and support, and also to the wider friends and supporters of, of CMC and, and all they do to partner with us and, and progress the ideals of CMC. So um, I'd just like to say thank you to everybody and uh, to have an enjoyable um, evening at our virtual Christmas party and enjoy the music. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Paula, for your very kind words. And to uh, hand over to my colleague now, Linda O'Shea for the next very exciting part of the evening. Thank you very much, Yvonne. Um, as Paula said, uh, the Belfast launch, I was at, up there as well, and that was uh, launched by Piers Hallowell, another CMC composer. And tonight, after the performance, we will have John McLaughlin doing the Dublin launch. At the Belfast launch, Cahal Masterson played ceaselessly into the past. And tonight, as Paula said, um, Martin Johnson will play Three Words for Light. So here's the CD, if you haven't seen it yet. And I'm here chatting very briefly with Anselm and Martin. So Anselm, there's a lot of Irish in this, all the titles of all the movements are in Irish and I know that you got them from this fabulous book by Mancom Magan, 32 words for field. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so this was this was a book that I read um, actually last Christmas time um, and um, it's a book very much about the cultural context of where certain phrases come from in the Irish language but also the fact that a lot of that cultural context is being lost as either those phrases are falling out of use or um, those phrases aren't understood the history of where they're coming from. Um, so one of he, he goes through various chapters and lots of interesting uh, phrases and so on. But the one that really struck me was his chapter on light and different words for light and how important, particularly be, you know before electricity, how important light was in Ireland. And uh, there's so many different kind of nuances to the phrases that are there. So my piece is, uh, has three movements, and the first is called uh, Tenethiani, um, Fox's Fire, which refers to like the little glistening blows of will-o'-the-wisps. Uh, the second is Syed uh, Yeloin, which means bright arrow, and is a reference to forked lightning. And then the third and final movement is Bonnie Le, which means whitening of the day, um, and is kind of one of five or six Irish terms for sort of the moments just coming up to dawn and um, just just as the sun is rising and the uh, day is getting whiter. So. Yes, the uh, Irish language as we all know has immense richness in all of its expressions and is a great source 
for titles like that. Now, I know Martin doesn't want to try his hand at some of the pronunciations. <laughs> Probably unwise. But, I mean, this, as Yvonne said, this entire cello suite is a result of CMC Colleagues 2021, when this time last year, both of you were picked randomly out of a hat to be matched up. And in that meantime, not only have you composed this for Martin, and he has performed it for recording on the CD, but tonight, I guess, is the first really live performance yeah. of the whole uh, work, so that's fantastic. And Martin, maybe, you know, using the English language versions of each of these movements, you can bring us through a little bit. Uh, yeah, the, um, Ansel men mentioned the Will of the Wisp effect, uh, um, and actually, we've got a, uh, I don't know if you can see on the camera, um, a, a guitar pedal that we just uh, both happened to own the same piece of equipment. Um, so it was kind of central to the to the collaboration on the, on the composition, um, and one of the effects we use is is uh, like a repetition, a copying, uh, which uh, um, depicts these uh, will o' the wisps uh, uh, as we go along, and it kind of punctuates the the whole of the first movement. Um, the second movement, the fox's fire, you'll you'll hear. We we joked yesterday in the rehearsal that it's you know. If Jimi Hendrix played the cello, it would be on this kind of side of things. It's a bit, you know, stre stretching the imagination there uh, in, in, in cello world, um, but fantastic. Uh, uh, and the last movement uh, appears to me as uh, uh, influenced by the six suite of Bach in D major, um, but perhaps with a, an extra bit of spice, maybe a little steroids on the back of that, and plus a, 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 an Irish twist to, 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 to tie it all together. Um, fantastic work, and it's I'm so honoured that, that Anselm has written this massive work for me. Um, uh, it's it's really been a privilege for me this year. And, uh, as Martin pointed out with the Jimi Hendrix thing, I mean, when we both realised that we owned this guitar pedal because I played the electric guitar, I, I actually wrote the piece on the guitar. So I tuned down the guitar to a cello tuning and then wrote it. So part of that aspect of collaboration was then translating what I'd written over to the cello because some of that was very like very idi idiomatic on the cello and then other bits that you know kind of didn't translate quite as well and we had we had some back and forth kind of moving those things around realizing how 90 95 yeah. percent worked pretty well I yeah think, exactly straight away um, it was only a small amount that we had to yeah to a, lot, a lot of very yeah. tricky chords as, as you'll see him kind of yeah. grappling with shortly <laughs> so i mean that's the perfect advertisement i think for cmc colleagues where you didn't know each other beforehand Turns out you had a lot in common and you went along. So later tonight, as Yvonne said, we'll have CMC Colleagues 22 launched. But without further ado, I will hand over the stage to Martin Johnson and Ansel MacDonald to perform uh, Three Words for Light on cello and electronics. Thanks Thank you. I should add that between the second and third movement, it'll take me a moment or two out to detune the cello, uh, the C string down to a B flat, so I apologise if that takes more than a moment or two.
Hello, everybody. I don't know if you can hear me. So, how do I know Anthon? Surely it would be hard not to know him if you're active in new music in Ireland because he's very productive and he's everywhere at the moment, working with Crash Ensemble and doing really nicely. Well, I first met him anyway when he attended the Irish Composition Summer School in 2018. It was a freakishly good year, in fact, where he was alongside Inti Figgis Vizueta, John Gryo Lee, Sean Davies and Rose Coffey and others. And since, since then, all those people, including Anselm, have been making their names in places like New York and Chicago and Manchester, and of course, Ireland, and being played more widely than that. But even in that company, his music stood out as both highly original and relatable, by which I mean that I could follow a piece and be kept interested without feeling that I needed to read listening first. Uh, which is not to say that I only want to listen once, uh, quite the opposite. There's always uh, something to come back for in his music. There's generally a well-articulated musical idea to the fore, developing quickly as well, and you're usually carried off on a road trip to fascinating places from the start of all his pieces. He's not afraid to run a very wide gamut of musical textures and harmonic worlds, from sometimes folk-like pentatonic sounds to richly extended tonality, to every kind of contemporary intersection of advanced pitch organization with improvisation and noise and chance elements. Anselm's work so far has attracted the attention of the best performers, and on this double CD of solo works, we have William Cole on double bass, Cahill Masterson and Isabel O'Connell on piano, Chris Roberts on guitar, and Martin Johnson on cello, all brilliantly advocating the music from a place of real reflection and understanding. This CD, as all CDs should be, is programmed a bit like a concert. It starts with the solo piano set ceaselessly into the past, where he sets out a stall of great musical variety in four shortish pieces that refers to Irish myth and legend, threaded with early Christianity. Stories we all ought to know, reflecting our collective Celtic unconscious in a way that is not your usual refraction through commercial radio-friendly musical culture. In fact, he makes you want to explore these great stories for yourself. Taken just as piano music without any information on the titles of the pieces, it's a set of exploratory piano textures and themes that together alternate driving energy and lovely colours. Then along comes a piece next for solo double bass and electronics, obviously a more distilled, higher degrees proof experience, as solo string music almost always is. Shards on a Beach is a piece where you might be advised to know a sliver of information before you set out, but it is a simple idea that a somewhat littered beach could present a ready-made metaphor for our place in the world, in the background of stunning nature juxtaposed with layers of our discarded artefacts representing the messiness of the modern world and the productiveness and decay which can sometimes tip into a strange beauty. That's a great idea for a piece that itself has a fragmentary or collage quality. It has what we composers always want, a central idea that propels the imagination through, as a composer, through and past the challenges of free invention. Then we return to richer harmonic polyphony with a guitar cycle of seven pieces, eyewitnesses of his majesty. Composers know that the guitar is impossible to write for unless you play it, and luckily Anselm does. These pieces explore the range of the instrument in a way that sounds effortless and endless. I really admire the achievement in texture and colour here, and the huge range of imagination. It's a spur to me to write more for guitar, and indeed it is a daunting model for me. Here Anselm takes seven of Jesus' disciples as jumping off points for the textures and moods. Clearly, taking characters and reflecting on their stories is the way to go. And there's a lesson here for the non-religious composer too, concerning ways of dedication to the work. We all need a thing called Zitzfleisch, that artisanal commitment, and on top of that, what the Taoists call Uwe, our flow state, where action is both productive and effortless. 
As composers, we have to find a way that fulfills and reinforces our desire to be like the monks at the manuscripts. In other words, keeping going <laughs> and enjoying it. But I seem to have drifted along now because I imagine else I'm actually writing this music with the guitar in hand rather than a quill, um, exploring the possible while simultaneously making musical portraits of those disciples. That brings us to the shorter second CD, starting with Anselm's first piano piece, but his 35th composition. On a stone pillow, Jacob dreamt of salvation. Here in the wonderful hands of Isabel O'Connell, um, it reminds me of Luigi Nono's transcendent Soferte on the Serena in, in the initial treatment of Tessitura and much of the piece uh, through it, it eventually morphs then towards a feeling of rapidly shifting tonalities near the end, followed by a lovely simple texture of sliding harmonics played inside the piano. Perhaps Jacob's delighted relief that his twin Esau will not, as it seemed, inherit the patriarchy from Isaac. I won't go on about the final thing on the CD program, as it were, which is the set of three pieces for cello and electronics to be played by Martin in a minute, hopefully, or we'll see. Um, so I would simply say that with this piece, you're certainly in for a treat as well. There's a lot more that I could say, but in summary, this CD is a wonderful introduction to the very rich world of Anselm's imagination. Both the acute ear for delivering non-cliched yet strongly gestural music and the storytelling that lies behind each piece. If the listener wants to have a very rich experience besides just listening to the sounds, I recommend that they combine this other strand, look up the meanings of the titles, get into the backstory. I found that very rewarding when I was listening, and I'll give you one very brief example. In the first piano set, track two of the whole CD, title is Lorica, which at first I just thought was a very pretty word. But it's not just a pretty word, it refers to breastplate as in St. Patrick's breastplate. Early Irish Christians on island monasteries, perhaps fearing attack or just fearing the storm, would, in a prayer, list the places needing protection. For example, often with a separate saint on duty. Here's an example. Gabriel, be my breastplate. Michael, be my belt. Raphael, be my shield. I found that whole uh, idea fascinating. But Judging by the cam music in this lorica that he wrote, in fact, it was probably a more meditative, incantatory use of a list of points of faith that Anselm was having in mind here. It only really remains for me to suggest that you all get hold of the CD and give it repeated listenings and enjoy it, and to say that I, for one, look forward to the next recording from Anselm's large and impressive output. Thank you. before it's on the first page of this thing oh my goodness you know give contemporary me, music give me a break <laughs> just give me a break and then to get to my cello case i find uh, uh, four envelopes with the th with three st with strings in and the c string isn't even there i don't even know where that is so the day has been truly saved by one of my students uh, uh, Pada uh, Lynchy, who's who cycled down here as fast as he can from the academy and give me the c string from his cello <laughs> Maybe I should get him to play. Has he played? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, so I might need to keep readjusting between the movements, but. Just tweak it up a tiny bit more. check doors seat, seat belts you know amp is on the microphones everything's plugged in <laughs> wow okay well, i won't forget this I mean, concert i really won't forget the easy bit <laughs> <laughs> well yeah <laughs>
huge, huge thanks, yeah. huge respect no, for thanks. your coolness and composure. Thanks, and thanks to Patter, he said the day, not, not <laughs> Thanks to Patter, yeah, yeah, but yeah. you you recalibrated, yeah. um, and what a wonderful performance yeah. of uh, that work by Anselm. Three works for light, definitely nice. echoes of the Bach cello suites in the third yeah. movement. Bach with a Belfast tinge, <laughs> I liked it a lot, <laughs> and uh, really very grateful to you both yeah. for joining us here in. CMC HQ this evening, Martin and Anselm, big, big thanks. Wonderful that uh, we eventually got to hear those three movements. Totally my pleasure. Thanks. Such, thanks. such thanks. a thrill for having <laughs> And again, thanks to John McLaughlin who zoomed in from uh, up north and shared those wonderful words on this uh, debut album from Ansel McDonald, which we've launched this evening, along with the 2022 CMC colleagues. What an exciting evening. I'm not sure I'm uh, able for this much excitement anymore after a very quiet COVID life. Um, it's, th there certainly will be, you know, troubling months ahead, as we know, but the CMC team and board are hopeful that 2022 will be the musically prosperous year that we all wish for. And we acknowledge the generous support of the Arts Council of Ireland and the Arts Council of Northern Ireland who uh, support us with their ongoing support through the Project Lottery Fund. Funding. On behalf of myself, Director of CMC Yvonne Ferguson, the CMC Board, and in this most challenging of years again, particular tribute, tribute to the CMC staff team, Jonathan, Keith, Linda and Mary, and our two new members of the team, Anne-Marie, our Library Coordinator, and Maeve, our Comms and Marketing Coordinator, who are all here with me this evening. You, uh, you've seen Linda on the screen. Everybody else is in the background and various parts of the building doing very important work and uh, especially thanks to John and Jonathan and Keith who've really uh, kept the show on the road this evening and on air and uh we're going to be asking for your help uh, right throughout 2022 as we embark on a new strategic plan to review our activities and renew our activities right onwards into the future and hopefully into another 30 plus years. So we'll be asking your help uh, to identify with us the needs of the sector in the years to come. So have a very, very happy Christmas, a restful Christmas, and a very musically productive, prosperous, creative and collaborative 2022. We're gonna sign off here live from 19 Fishamble Street from the Contemporary Music Centre. It's been an absolute pleasure, a whirlwind of an evening um, here in CMC. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining us. I can see two full screens on the Zoom uh, right now, but it's just a little bit far away from for my eyesight. Owen is waving, Emma is waving, Elish is waving, many people are waving uh, from different parts of Ireland, the island of Ireland, and from different parts of the world. I see Derek waving, David, Jürgen and Kerry on the Zoom there, and I see Aoife's photograph as well, which is great. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining us this evening. Really appreciated you joining in by Zoom. We're going to wrap up here now and uh, have uh, all this wonderful equipment to take down.